Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to Avorian. We're now in episode number 8 and thanks to you guys in the comments, um, I've learned that there is in fact system upgrade slots behind the ship. <laughs> kind of a wonky way to do it. I, I mean, this is just a reminder that this game is still in early access and it still has a ways to go because those certainly shouldn't be behind the ship because there's no way to tell that that's even there. But if in if you do take the module and you slide it right about there, you can actually find them. It took me a little bit of finagling to try and figure out exactly where those slots were. But yes, now we in fact have four slots to play with. It did say this in our panel too as well. It did say that we had four system upgrade slots to use. I just didn't know where they were. <laughs> so really bizarre. So that being said, um, we now have our turret control system up and up and online. It is uh, giving us plus two armed turrets. We have our advanced trading system, the new module that we got last episode. We have our radar upgrade, of course, which is sort of a staple on all of our ships now. There is a better radar upgrade here, that which gives us deep scan plus three, but it uses way too much power, way more power than this one. 0.3 gigawatts, and this one's 0.45. Then we have the, uh, I found a generator upgrade, which gives us plus 44% generator to energy and plus 25% percent recharge rate which is amazing plus 44 percent almost 50 percent uh increased energy supply i love it so now uh, i've come back into friendly space be way back at the beginning where we sort of started in that area anyway and i wanted to give the the new uh the advanced training system a try so up here on the top right corner you can see that there is a trading button trading overview button that's only available when you have that module enacted and it gives you three new panels it gives you trading overview which allows you to see new trading routes or trade routes uh, available in this sector. So there's actually a trading post um, that's offering us a trade mission. Let's just take a quick look at that. I actually have not seen that before. So let's take a look. See what see what kind of bonuses we get for doing this. Now this is in easy space, so I can't imagine that it's going to be that great. Yeah. So we've got two two missions available here. One for 100 oxygen. One for one adhesive, I assume, one, and uh, the reward is 36,000 or 21,000. And as you can see, we've got 547,000 just from selling asteroids and various other things. So there's really no point in doing any of that. So let's take a look at the other options here for trading. So it shows you all of the stations in the sector. It shows you everything that they are selling, that they are willing to sell you and it shows you the percentage ratio of uh, the average, what where the price is compared to the average price of that product. So you can see that uh, if I buy, or adhesive is, if, if there was actually any adhesive in this particular uh, station, it would be 19% more than its regular standard value. So, and here you can see laser heads are 24% lower than the regular standard value, which is great. So you can kind of get a really good idea of what kind of profit you're gonna make if you sell it to a station with 0% average. So now you can see, of course, this is the stations we can sell to and the different uh, modules or different pieces of equipment and goods that we can sell to these stations. And you can see that the con conductors here, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to sell to the conductors the conductor station is almost full and it's minus 40% uh, uh, versus the average. So that's not very good. So we're looking for something that's positive here and something that's negative here. Now I have found something here. Um, where is it? Semiconductors. Yeah, it was minus 43% minus of average. Now it's only 67 credits per semiconductor. So the only way we'd be able to do this and really make money is if we had a lot of cargo space and be able to take a lot of this product. And as a matter of fact, there is a place in this sector to actually sell those se semiconductors for 90% above average. So 141, so we buy it at 67 and sell it for 141, which is a substantial profit. That is, uh, that's more than 100% uh, profit, which I really, really love. So, but um, here's the problem. Our ship currently has uh, let's see here, cargo, cargo hold. We can only, I, I did put a cargo hold on here, but I can only carry four, 50 items in this cargo hold. So that's not gonna cut it if we wanna do that semiconductor deal. So I propose this, I propose this. It's time for us to build a new ship. Actually, before we do that, uh, this is the reason I'm by this station, because this station just happens to have something I want. Let's go over here and dock really quickly because it's time to start building our fleet. <laughs> uh, we can't really afford it, but we will be able to soon. So we can go and hire a crew and we can hire a captain at the station. Now the captains allow us to not only build a ship, but it allows us to have the ship run by the captain so we can actually give commands to that ship. So it, for example, if I jump out of this ship, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you already know this stuff because most of you guys are so much further ahead in this game than I am. So we can actually now go and 
F to interact, and I, oh, hold on, uh, orders, we can actually give the ship orders now, because it has a captain, oh, uh, I think I'd actually have to assign the captain, oh, it should already be assigned, but yeah, we can give the ship orders, and we can also go out into strategic mode, or RTS mode, and then click on the ship if I can actually find it here, there, the ship, yeah, so now I can tell the ship to actually go move in the sector, and it should start to go, maybe, uh-oh, <laughs> maybe not. Let's go back into the ship, please. Uh, enter. Thank you. Now we go into here. We should be able to see that the there is an, a captain here. So not mandatory, but allows ships to be commanded when you're not flying them. So that should work. <laughs> There's so many little things. You know, I want to try something and then it doesn't work. And then I'm like, oh, hold on. Maybe I'm too close to it. I don't know. Let's 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 move away a little bit from the ship and see if it goes on its own. It should. Hello. Please, please do something. Hold on. Uh, idle, passive, guard this position, patrol sector, escort me, attack enemies. Maybe that should work. Hold on. Um, let's go out again and see if we can tell our ship to... There it goes. There it goes. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but yeah, so we can now remote control our ship. So that being said, I want to be able to... I want to build a cargo hauler, like just a ship that's dedicated to... Oh, crap. Now we have to... <laughs> Now we have to we have to call our ship back. We have to call our ship back. Um, come back, come back, come back to where I am, please. Turn around. There it goes. You can see it turning around. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna build a brand new ship. We're gonna build a dedicated cargo hauler. We're gonna name this thing. Uh, so let's go to found ship. We're gonna name this thing. Uh, the uh, oh, I was looking. Yeah, up earlier I was looking up. Uh, Dung Beetles. The Latin first name for Dung Beetles is Scarabaeus. So that's what we're going to call this. The Scara... Uh, how did I spell that? Or how do you spell that? I think it's B-A-E-U-S. Scarabaeus! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! Okay, I'm going to start the build.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The Scarabaeus Freighter. Isn't it glorious? Oh, I think it turned out very, very well. And for the first time ever, I've actually added color to my ship. And man, that sure makes certain parts pop out, doesn't it? And doesn't this look like a pool in the back? It's a, actually a solar panel, but I thought that looked a lot like a pool in the back. I don't know. For long journeys, you gotta have a place to swim and, you know, relax, right? And of course, we added some useless things like antennae, but I think it looks really great. Really adds to the uh, overall appeal of the ship, as well as, you know, that bony structure going down through the center. And, of course, a face in the front. You know what? I've been watching a whole bunch of Battlestar Galactica. So, of course, Cylons, you know, faces and ships. It's just, it's in my head right now. And I just think it turned out, it turned out fantastically. Notice, these are all, these are, of course, all cargo containers or cargo hull, but I wanted to put them on the outside of the ship because, you know, typically, you know, what in space movies and stuff, you see the cargo containers on the outsides of the ship, and I think there's a couple reasons for that. These containers, of course, then theoretically would be able to be removed and replaced, or, you know, removed entirely for long journeys if you're not carrying any cargo or whatever, besides the fact if there's something flammable or dangerous inside these cargo containers. You, you don't want them on the inside of your ship. You want them on the outside. I don't know. So I thought that would kind of make sense. Notice we've, we've also added a whole bunch of neon strips on the in, or in, on the in-between, so it kind of differentiates them all. I think it looks really good. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Um, now, as far as the ship stats, um, it's okay. It's not extremely fast. It's not going to break super fast, but it is a giant heavy hauler. So what do you expect, right? I mean, that is what it's supposed to... It is what it is. It is what it is. So now the next thing I have a little bit of a problem with, um, during the build, I had to stop and reload the game. And when I came back, the ship was down by, um, let's see, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I can point it out here. Down at the bottom, our hull got damaged substantially. Like, I don't know from what I, maybe, maybe something bumped into it or something, but, uh, yeah, our hull is like totally beat to crap. <laughs> Notice we have thrusters on the bottom and the top. You can't really tell it's, it's like one of those invisible panels, which is fine, which is fine. And wow, this, this is really cool. I'm actually quite pleased with this. Now we do need to get some crew. So let's grab some crew here. Oh, there's pirates. Hold on. We need to defend our ship from pirates. And we can't do that in this ship. We're gonna go over to we could we could tell our other ship to automate or automate our other ship in defense, but no, why would we do that? When we've got a uh, a nice big battleship, maybe that's how I got damaged. I don't know. I was so involved with building. You know how it goes, right? Uh, uh, yes, pirates. Let's go deal with them. Let's change that. Perfect. Now I did make some adjustments to the weapons on this ship. Um, I took off that stupid missile launcher, which has been just nothing, nothing but trouble. It, it's been causing me all sorts of grief. It has, it doesn't target, it doesn't do, uh, it doesn't do what I expected it to do, the, the dumb fire missile or the rockets. So now I have the quad plasma in the center. I've got a couple, uh, all really good weapons, a couple uh, really big chain guns, I believe, but we should be able to just waste these pirates. <laughs> ah! Oh yes. I mean, we're in friendly area here too, so are, are in relatively safe, a relatively safe area. So these guys will go down super fast, but I don't want them attacking my cargo ship any more than they, I believe, already have. That's probably why I got so damaged. Wow, that was super fast destroying those guys. Is that it? Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Yes, that was it. So let's go get some crew for our ship. <laughs> uh. Okay, wow, I couldn't find it there for a second. Okay, let's go get some crew for our ship. So this thing is actually becoming quite combat capable. I'm still unable to use fighters and I've messed around with it a little bit and I think it's because of the bottom of this ship. I think I've got something on top. Uh, well, not necessarily on top of those hangars, but it's kind of blocking the hangars, preventing the fighters from launching. So I'm gonna fix that another time. This ship needs to be rebuilt anyway. So I'm not too panicked because we are gonna do that. I think I'm gonna keep the captain on the ship and have him escort us while we do some trading. Hello, stop, stop anytime soon. Anytime soon would be great. Oh, there is another pirate out there. Oh, well, that's okay, that doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay, let's get out of this ship. So it took me about two and a half hours to build this cargo ship. 
Uh, quite a while. Uh, I'm, don't show me this message again. I know how to get into a ship. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into here. Yeah, it took it took it took a fair amount of time to build this. I, I'm very. I'd like to get into some of the nitty gritty details when I'm building a ship. Imagine how long it'll take me to build some massive battleships. It'll take me quite some time. Okay, so let's get some crew. I'm just gonna put regular crew in here, or if there is if there is some professional crew, I will equip it with some professional crew but uh, you know if i find if especially if i find a professional mechanic so they do repair that damage a little faster maybe i guess it's it's not going to matter as long as i if i over crew that i mean it's going to do the same thing right so higher crew what do we got gunners we don't need engineers you know what uh first of all let's take a look and see what the ship is going to need so we're going to need engineers we're going to need eight for engineers so if i hire uh, i'll hire six I'll hire five engineers and see what that looks like. We're gonna need a lot of mechanics. Holy crap! Maybe getting professional mechanics might be a really good idea. And yeah, we'll need some sergeants if we do it with regular crews. So let's hire what we can here. Hire crews. So no mechanics, there's pilots. There is another captain. I'm gonna hire him for sure. I'm gonna hire five engineers. We'll see what that looks like. Five engineers. Oh yeah, we, it costs us like 300,000 to build that ship. But Build this ship, by the way. A lot of money. I'm gonna pick up you know what I'm gonna take all 20 of these guys let's go back here and let's assign them so let's assign let's auto assign crews uh, there we go okay so yeah I've got one regular crew in here as well as five professionals as they move up in level I uh, will be able to remove that regular crew member and the rest are all in mechanics and oh sergeants right we're gonna need mechanics we're gonna need sergeants because of the large amount of yeah we're gonna have to go get some more crew but at least the mechanics are slowly starting to repair the ship because right now to repair it entirely is gonna cost us more money than we have it's gonna cost us 4,655 nanite guess what I don't have that anymore I used it all to build this ship so let's find another station to go crew our ship and at the same time let's see maybe we can do it at the same station Oh, right. Okay, so let's go to player menu. I forgot that we need to have... I do have another trade module, so I'm gonna... I don't know what the difference is between the, the green one and the, the blue one. I don't think there's much of a difference. I don't know. But let's go... Where did we... Where can we buy those superconductors? We can buy superconductors... Superconductors... Oh. Oh, this... Oh, the green one doesn't show me the percentage! Oh, interesting. So I'm going to have to go grab the green one or the blue one for my other ship. We'll keep the the blue one on the uh, the Scar Scarabaeus for sure, because we don't need that on, on our main ship. We can just keep our regular one on our main ship, I guess. So let's take that off for now. Yes, yeah, so we've got five, five slots for this one. Ooh, that's interesting. I did give it a fair amount of power. Um, so that we can attach some of the extra cargo modules if necessary too because they are they use a lot of power <laughs> to run let's go in here enter and let's go p let's remove this sucker oh <laughs> see you they're there but you can't see them now isn't that weird that's funny okay advanced trading system great we're gonna put the regular trading system let's see you kind of gotta find that rate spot there oh did that work what did I put in here? Improved trading system. That's the same thing as this one. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's get out of here and go back to the other ship. There we go. And player. Now, we can put on the advanced trading system. Yes! And like I said, we do have... I had a cargo module. Is that the only one I have? I think so. So, energy consumption, 0.24 gigawatts, but gives us 16% more cargo hold. So, that's a good one. And was there anything else? We got we got this hyperspace upgrade that would give us way more range, and we do have the, the power to run it, I think, without much problem. Um, same with the shield booster. You know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. I think we'll just keep it as is. Ooh, another cargo. Oh, this one gives me 118 cargo hold, but costs 1.18 gigawatts. We can afford that. The ship has tons of power. Uh, engine upgrades? Oh, that's not a bad idea, too. Velocity plus 3%. Velocity th plus 3%. And velocity plus 16%, 0.24 gigawatts. I think we can afford that. And, uh... You know what? That's probably good for now. Let's go to the scanner here. And see where those superconductors... Yeah, see, that blue module shows you the percentages. Oh, that's wicked cool. 
Wicked cool. Okay, so we're gonna go to this station and we're gonna buy as many of those semiconductors as we can. We need the money now because we spent it all building the ship. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay, all the way over here. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. I love the pool in the back. The pool is so great. I think that looks so awesome. Now, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a little bit of a recreational vehicle as well. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, not great top speed on this, but, uh, you know, it's fine. It's adequate. It is, it's a cargo hauler anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be super fast. Wow, this station is coming up really quick. Let's not ram it. Uh, yeah, we're going to miss all the docking bays. Let's turn around, use our engines to thrust back. There we go. Gotta be careful. Actually, this thing maybe moves a little too fast. Faster than I expected. <laughs> it is primarily made of nanite. There is a tiny little bit of titanium. And of course, the cargo holds are made of titanium as well. Now, it would have been cheap, or it would have been, uh, made the, fist, the ship a little bit lighter had I used uh, or nanite for the cargo holds. But, um... I wanted, I wanted the difference in look, too. I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference because I colored it. <laughs> um, I also wanted to save some material because, yeah, well, I, I am running really low on neonite. I can't believe how much neonite it costs to actually put this ship together. Like, uh, over over 20,000 20, units of neonite to put this thing together. Okay, here we go. Slowly docking in. Slow down. Slow down. Maybe we... Yeah, I mean... Thrusters are... It just... The big ships are going to be hard to slow down. That's all. Okay, let's go to hire crew first. Let's see what you've got. Oh, you've got some good mechanics. Okay, let's hire, I don't know, hire all you got. Hire all the mechanics you have here. Gunners, we don't need. Engineers, we don't need. And I'm going to hire a smattering more of crew. That's probably more than I need. Um, uh, just to take a look at the stats on this ship, we can hold. Cargo hold is 1,039. We can uh, carry 1,039. That's really good. And crew quarters is 41. So this probably puts us over. So let's reduce. I guess we didn't need to take that many crew. Okay, I'm going to dismiss. Can I assign a couple more to this? Yeah, let's assign a couple more to mechanics so that we, we repair a little bit faster. And I don't know really if how what this is going to help if I add more engineers, but you know what? Might as well. Since we've got the crew here anyway. So this is 25, 35, 37, 40, 41. We're actually a little over on crew, so we're going to dismiss a couple. Don't worry, we're the, we'll definitely get those, we'll be able to pull crew out of mechanics, etc. once we, these mechanics start to move up in levels. And same with the engineers, so we'll have extra crew later. So that should keep us, whoa, <laughs> always worry when there's stuff going on like that. Okay, explosions out of nowhere. All right, so let's buy. I know this is a lot of work to make this happen, right? But uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with it. So if I go 5,000, okay, so I can buy 3,722. So now we can go to our little trading module. This is great. What The trading module is awesome. Now this is all within the same sector. I'm sure we could find even better deals, way better deals. Of course we could find way better deals elsewhere. Uh, uh oh, microchip factory. Okay, they somebody sold them one semiconductor and it lowered that price by a substantial amount, but that's okay. We'll still make a decent amount of money on this. Let's get over there. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Notice I'm not fast forwarding right now. I just, I want to show the whole thing. Um, it's, it's all in the same system anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to fast forward for that. We've already done one big fast forward today. And let's see how much money we can make on this. I mean, it's not going to be huge. Oh, oh, maybe we're limited by our credits. I think we could have taken more stock. I think we just got limited by the amount of credits we had, not by the cargo holds. Yeah. Because we could store, we can store up to over a thousand units at point one. Yeah, we could have, we could have bought them out. Yeah, for sure. We could have totally bought them out. Uh, we just, uh, we just didn't have the credits to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to slow down a little sooner with this sucker. It, uh, it drifts a long way and actually it's, it moves pretty good. There we go. F to dock. Perfect. Stop the ship. There we go. Beautiful. And, uh, we can sell all 3,722 of those microchips. We're not going to make a huge amount of money here, but, uh, we doubled our money. We essentially doubled our money. Wow, that is uh, that is great. I am going to go start exploring and looking around for some other deals. See what we can find in the universe. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for today. I've spent uh, I've spent about 3 hours putting this together. I love it. Isn't it great? 
I think it looks really awesome, especially, you know, even with those thrusters running, I think it looks really great. It's it's a little bit smaller than I was hoping for, but it's it's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm, I'm very pleased with the look of it, though. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the series. We'll be back probably in a couple days for another episode. I love this game. I'm going to try and make a little bit of money, and if I find a really good deal, of course, we're going to show that on the next episode. All right. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Bye.